so here is the part two uh, I have two nozzle of 20 millimeter each of them are basically at the opposite parallel opposite side so one come like this one goes like this it's a bit difficult to show because it's tight place the water doesn't have a lot of space to escape but it's enough it seems to be enough so same triangle wheel that I've made uh, the nozzle is a tube of, uh, of 20 millimeter inside is it's 18 I think so it's not 20 uh, I've, I've tried somehow to close all this opening that I had using Pelton and uh, so Pelton goes on the side completely and uh, let's go for a test so I open no let's bear open this one first It's already with a load, I think, because it's slow, yeah. So, 80 volts, 2.7 amp. Uh, it's around 210 watts, something like this, 200 something. So I'd say 200 watts. Uh, the load is this, it's a resistor of, um, of a water heater. Well, you can't smell with the video, but it starts to smell a lot because it might be really hot right now. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a success, but uh, I was hoping to get a bit more, like 250, 300 watts. Probably the nozzle that I used are not in the correct angle. Uh, it's more like 25 and not 20. So I'm a bit disappointed with that, but I could not really tilt the tube. It was quite difficult already to put it like this. So. I might come up with four, uh, two more nozzle on the, so it will be four nozzle on each 90 degrees. But I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Uh, here, if it's a tube of uh, two, two inches, I think it's a 80 millimeter. I think to 20, but I have more water, especially the winter, so I can open it completely and let all use the maximum water so I'll, I'll check more during when it's really raining in the middle of the winter but uh, to take this generator on top it's quite a hard task so yeah I will see uh, if I'll do it or not